Chaotus Maximus here. I've always wanted to make this video just because I'd hunt around on YouTube and uh, it's, you know, these videos are cheesy. It's just talking about the wide variety of USB uh, wall chargers, wall warts that are available. Some of these aren't really wall warts. Some of them plug in via figure eight cables. Some of them are, they've gotten pretty far. This is like a 10 watt uh, wireless charger with a whole bunch of ports. It's a 100 watts total quick charge, USB-C power delivery, and it has individual displays for each, um, or it has an LCD display for each port, pretty neat. There are other ones that are like that, like this one. Actually, in my previous video, I, <laughs> I had talked about my favorite chargers, and so that's where I'll plug the, where I plug these in. So look at the video previous to this. But this one just ticks between volts and amps when you're charging USB-C and Qualcomm Quick Charge. Chargers like this will actually deliver quick charge out of the quick charge ports while simultaneously using other ports. And ones like the Zeger will do the same thing, but it's limited to like 40 watts maximum. So like one device quick charging out of either the USB-C power delivery and the QC port. Um, but if you char put a whole bunch of devices, it will just run at five volts. And a lot of them are like that where they'll quick charge one one port, but if you plug in multiple devices, they'll knock it back down like five volts, two amps. But these are pretty cool. Many of them, like this Newt, the Z Gear, they have different color LEDs. They'll be like red and then green or you know, green and purple. This one is blue and then orange. So when your device is finished charging, you know it's finished charging uh, because of that. Uh, this one's the same way, it has a little light that changes color when it's done charging, so I thought that's kind of neat. You have other ones, like these, this Verizon unit, and whoever Verizon is buying it from, I think this is a, whatever brand this is, I don't even know. This one has a light ring, so when it's on delivering power, the ring lights up, and then when it's uh, finished charging, the ring turns off, so it's easy for you just to glance over at the charger and see if your device is finished. You have these kind of older school charging hubs. This one delivers a lot of power. It'll deliver 40 watts and it just has a whole bunch of just five volt, two amp uh, outputs. And there's actually five of them, but you can run four of them concurrently. And this also uses a figure eight cord. Speaking of that, some of these are you know, uh, travel chargers like the Samsung one, where it just has this little adapter that plugs in, which kind of interesting about this one is it's actually a figure eight port and a USB power brick and you can plug a figure eight cable right into it. And I thought that was kind of odd, kind of an interesting little Samsung unit there. And so you can get some that actually have just interchangeable sockets. This is another one that's the same way. It's kind of hard to remove, but it's just a charging brick that allows you to swap sockets and so you just have a brick and then a bunch of interchangeable end pieces for depending on what region that you're in. Anyway, that's kind of the deal with this uh, video. Some of them are terrible. This one is absolutely massive. This is just a five volt, two amp, and it's just a really cheesy one. You have many of these are multi-port, such as this Black Web. We have these UBO Labs and these Smart ID ones over here, which is the same thing. They're just multiple five volts. These are 2.4 amp concurrent, and so those are just single bricks which have multiple ports in them. Anything that's a fast charger, and that's, you really got to look at these, you know, if you see anything that has, that wouldn't be a great example, but any charger that has like a USB-C port is going to be a quick charge compatible. Otherwise, you just have to look at the charger. If it's going to be quick charge, it's going to output something higher than just 5 volts. So whoever says like 9 volts, 2 amps, um, this happens to be a DJI tri charger and 12 volts at 1.5 amps. That seems to be pretty much the standard, which is an 18 watt. There are certain exceptions, such as like these Samsung rapid chargers. These only go to nine volts. They don't do the 12 volt, even though they are 18 watt chargers. Actually, I don't think this is an 18 watt. I think this is 1.67 amps. So it's gonna be a little less than 18 watts, like 14 watts or something like that. But it's like that Samsung tends to be the exception. Most of these chargers, when you run into like big brick chargers like these or these, this is a USB-C. Um, what else do we have here? Whatever brands these are. These are all going to be 18 watt chargers. Some have USB-C, some have USB-A. 
pretty much the same thing. And that was the whole purpose of this video. You have certain ones like these Motorola turbo chargers, Motorola Coles, their 18 watt chargers, turbo chargers, which is a little bit odd, but that's just fine. Certain ones like this huge one, this Aki, this is really pretty heavy. You can always judge a charger by its weight. If it's a heavy charger like this one, you know it's going to be pretty nice. This is actually one of the rare ones which has two simultaneous quick charge ports. So this is actually a 36 watt charger. It'll de de deliver uh, 18 watts out of each of the individual charge ports, which is kind of neat. You have tiny little ones like this, which are just little wall wart style. The orange one is the JBL. I found a lot of chargers and they actually tend to be pretty reliable. The only ones I've ever found that have failed were Belkin chargers, interestingly enough. Besides that, the use, there were standards for Qualcomm Quick Charge, which is having a green charging port, but it uh, manufacturers have kind of pulled away from it. Both of these are the same 18 watt chargers. One has a green port, one has an orange port, and it's just because that's how they want to do it. Some are oddball designs like this Energizer Intercell one, which has two wheel ports sticking out the front, but at the bottom of the unit. It's a little bit odd, but it's just fine. There are, of course, which I think are kind of neat. The Walmart on brand, these aren't quick chargers, these are just five volts at two amps. I keep on mentioning that voltage because you don't want to go anything lower than that. You really want 10 watts or better. But these have always worked out great. Little blue LED, they have round ones, square ones, black and white. Other than that, we have ones like this, which is just super bulky. This is a uh, maximum 30 watts out because this one um, supports USB-C power delivery as well as Qualcomm Quick Charge and many times even though the Qualcomm Quick Charge can deliver more than 18 watts it seems that chargers that only have USB-A port that are Quick Charge are only going to be 18 watts and if they're going to deliver more power than that they'll use a USB-C but this one's really bulky. Now there are others such as these Blitz units that I have found these at like a used computers parts store that basically never has anything except for like antique equipment but they did have a little collection of these uh, that were pretty cheap they're like three bucks a piece and uh, I just think that the printing was just too small for them to read but this I remember picking up this blitz charger thing for a little wall wart this thing is really pretty heavy this is one of those um, gallium nitride transistor uh, 65 watt power bricks and these are this is my most powerful individual power brick and so if you feel a power brick that's pretty heavy that you find use try to read the label because sometimes they're going to be pretty nice like this blitz force once again 65 watts that's quite a bit of power that'll drive quite a bit of equipment and of course there's all these types of chargers such as the Samsung when you find one of these charging bricks as a USB-C usually they deliver quite a bit of power like the Samsung which is a 30 watt I think we have this Tricone here, which is pretty decent brand. This is a 45 watt. And so these are chargers that come with like tablets and uh, Chromebooks and that type of stuff with USB-C charging ports. And the nice thing about USB-C is because it's a, you know, a standard, you can use one of these and charge your phone with it or any device that has a USB-C uh, charging port. And the nice thing about these is that they're just large. They don't get quite as hot unless you're running them full bore and they'll pretty much charge any device that you really want to plug into them. And then there are kind of oddball rare ones like this 18 watt. Actually, I think this may be more than 18 watts. Yeah, so this one, 2.15 amps at 12 volts. So that is actually a 25 watt charger. This is one another Motorola. It's one of the very rare micro USB style quick chargers. It's actually, there are a few devices I've run into that do quick charge through micro USB, but it's really rare to find a quarter charge fast charger that does indeed have a micro USB port. Usually when you find them, they're just kind of like this. They're a little simple five amp, two or <laughs> five volt, two amp, uh, just little charging bricks. And sometimes it's just, you know, you kind of like ones to have just an integrated wire in case you don't want to deal with or you lost your USB cable. You just have that kind of setup. So anyway, that was kind of my little deal. You can even get tiny little uh, wall warts like this. Anyway, that was the purpose of this video. It's just a wide variety of all these different chargers. And all you have to do is just look up the label to really see uh, how well they do. Many of them, or actually pretty much all of these, except for a few, 
are going to be fast chargers. And really when it comes down to it, if you have a decent cable that isn't getting worn out, that's one of the nice things about like digital display chargers such as these, is if you have a cable that's failing, then you'll see that it just is barely delivering any amps, and so you know that the cable is failing. Regular two uh, 10, 10 watt 5 volt chargers will still de charge devices pretty quickly. It's only when you really need to uh, charge up something really fast or you have you know, like a battery bank that you're trying to charge up which has huge capacity is when it becomes more of an issue uh, needing one of these uh, faster or more powerful quick chargers. Otherwise, regular 10 watt chargers, you know, even my phone, only takes like an hour for it to fully charge it up. And the slower charge rates are better for your batteries. You do, I've done a bit of battery research and it saves you time to charge things up quickly but that also comes at a bit of a sacrifice of increased wear on the battery in your device and it's proportional like the 65 watt power delivery chargers if you're charging a Chromebook or a big tablet those have huge batteries and so it's proportionally less of a deal than if you use this to charge your phone at you know super fast charge it in 15 minutes rate it's going to end up baking your battery anyway that was the purpose of this whole video, just talking about USB chargers. So anybody who clicks on it kind of has just a little bit better idea of the uh, style of charges that they want. They and you know they may want something that's more of a hub like this that has like a regular power, uh, heavier duty power cord, or you can get just integrated wall warts, which are high power delivery like those or these or the uh, the Blitz ones, or you can get ones that have you know status lights that turn on and off when the um, like that one or these which turn on and off as the device uh, comes up to full charge so it's just easy to to see in reference and that was the whole point of this video anyway I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do till next time Caddis Maximus out